Now this is the second Mushkin dual power supply that I've had a look at in the last little while. Now Mushkin is really coming on strong, releasing new power supplies. They really want to get back into this, so let's see what their 1000 watt offering is going to look like. So, okay, first of all, we've got the front of the box, which is standard. Uh, looks like they've got, they've only changed one thing, or two things on the front of the box versus the front of the box on the 700 watt. This number is different. It is 1000 instead of 700. And right here is an 80 plus gold badge versus the 80 plus bronze that we saw in the 700 watt. Let's have a look at the overall specs for this unit. So you can see that it is capable of providing up to 912 watts on the four 12 volt rails combined and up to 975 watts. So that's a, oh, okay, right. So our other 25 watts are on the minus 12 volt as well as the plus five volt. Uh, this plus five VSB rails. Okay, so most of the wattage of the power supply can be provided from the 12 watt from the 12 volt rails, but not close to all of it like some of the other units we've seen over the last little while. Let's flip this guy over and have a look at what it's got to say for itself on the back. So uh, they claim a 100,000 hour mean time between failure for this one, with even an even higher rating for the thermally controlled nanotech bearing fan. We've got a plus gold certification with efficiency up to 90%. Okay, Energy Star 4, combo cables with SATA and peripheral connectors. Okay, we'll have a look at the connectors in a minute. So here's the electrical safeguards. We've got overcurrent protection, over voltage protection, under voltage protection, short circuit protection, over power protection, and under load protection. It comes with a two-year warranty. So let's go ahead and unzoom my camera here and let's get the, this package opened up and let's have a look at the Jewel 1000 watt. So it's got a pretty basic overall packaging thing going on here, just a simple paper sleeve over a plain black box. But let's see what's inside because that's what really counts. Okay, so we have an owner's manual for Mushkin Enhanced Volta and Jewel Series power supplies. Uh, okay, there's some pretty basic stuff there. All right, we've got a power cable included. Nice thick one. Some Velcro cable ties. Uh, it looks like we've got four of those included. Maybe it's five. Five? Yeah, five of those included. We've got some screws as well as a couple of uh, plastic zip ties. And then we're down to the power supply itself. So not a whole lot in terms of packaging or accessories in here. But ultimately, if you're anything like me, you usually don't worry too much about the packaging accessories and you are more concerned about the power supply itself. So this is not a modular unit, something to be aware of. Uh, unlike the Joule 700 watt, this is a cables connected power supply. So let's look at the actual PSU itself and then we'll have a closer look at the cables. So it's got a plain black finish on the sides, the top, as well as on the other side where we find a Mushkin sticker that outlines the overall specs of the unit for us once more. The front is plain because all of the cables are pre-attached to this PSU and it is not modular as I mentioned before. There's your Nanotech fan and on the back we find what we've come to expect from Mushkin power supplies and that is a crosshatch style back. Now it looks like it's going to be very, very free flowing, so you shouldn't have any restriction as far as the airflow goes on the back here. We've got a power switch as well as a power in. All right, let's see what we got for cables here. Now I do prefer modular power supplies, but modular interfaces do introduce a little bit of extra resistance, so it's possible that to achieve that 80 plus gold certification, the uh, Mushkin opted to go with a fully attached cable design to make sure that they get that extra efficiency boost here. So we've got a 24 pin power connector. It's a nice long cable on that as well. We've got, okay, what's this one? Yeah, here we go. We have an eight pin that is a, uh, a straight eight pin. So it's not a four plus four. You can't slide it apart, but that's an eight pin EPS connector. Okay, I'm gonna assume there's another one of those somewhere. Yeah, here's one. Okay, so we have another one of those, so you can plug this power supply into motherboards that like two 8-pin connectors, like the EVGA Classified or the MSI Big Bang X Power. Alright, in terms of PCI Express connectors, we've got uh, two 6 plus 2 pins, 
and two, oh wait, hold on. Ah, okay, so we have, yeah, we have four six plus two pins. So there's two here, and you can just slide these together to make either a six pin or an eight pin. And then there's two connected to a separate cable, which has escaped from me. Okay, two more, oh, whoops, sorry, there's one more that had fallen down there, so I couldn't see it. We actually have a total of six six plus two pin connectors. So this power supply is ready for three-way SLI or three-way crossfire with cards requiring six and six, six and eight, or eight and eight PCI Express power connectors. So there's all of our EPS, PCIe. All right, let's see what we've got for peripheral connectors here. Uh, let's take one of these and see what it is. So this guy is four SATA, right there. The next one is four SATA, so that's up to eight SATA so far. Next, we've got uh, four more SATA, so that's up to 12 SATA connections. And finally, we've got four Molex connectors with a floppy connector as well, just in case you still have something that requires one of those. So that is the overall unboxing and first look at the Joule 1000 watt power supply. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Thanks for watching.